Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, it is Thursday, the day before Friday, the Friday before field day, which means Friday night is QRP night. I've talked about that in the previous video, and I've got a lot of response. We're going to have some people and some clubs, I think, all the way across the country participating Friday night for QRP night. I'm really looking forward to it, uh, kind of excited about it. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to uh, mention a couple of things about that. But first, I wanted to uh, give a quick shout out to uh, DK3LJ, Jan, or John, over in uh, Germany. He sent me a box. So it's a mini What's in the Box episode. Check this out. Got a bunch of stuff here. Jan, John sent me, sorry, John, I keep doing that. It's spelled J A N, but over there it's pronounced John. <laughs> Just to clear that up, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it in mind here. So John sent me a little box with a few uh, gifts in it. There's some components, um, which I'm going to go through. Uh, a uh, little surface mount transistor. And he told me in an email what this was, and I've got to go look it up again and refresh my memory. Something special about that. A uh, interesting, huge relay. Look at that sucker. Mm. And I think he mentioned something about that in the email as well. So uh, it's been about a week or two, so I've got to go back and refresh my memory. A lot has happened uh, here lately. Um, there is a preamplifier, an RF preamplifier, the W1 or W2 IUV, I think. Or is it a W7? I can't, the writing, W7 IUV, I think, preamp. Ah, I'll verify that and put a text up here with the actual call sign. Sorry for getting it all screwed up. But that is a little RF preamp. Um, we're going to take a look at that and I'm probably going to try that out it, uh, with my uh, magnetic loop or one of my loops as a receiving antenna and see how much it boosts the signal. That'll be, a, that'll be an interesting video. But the gem in this package is a mini whip kit. The complete kit. The whip and the T-Bridge power supply adapter for it. So I'm going to do a kit build of the actual mini whip and uh, do some measurements and comparisons with it and figure out what, what, what I did wrong with uh, my home built version. So we got the original mini whip to play with. Thanks, John. I'm excited to get into this stuff. Uh, as I get some time, the new job is kicking my butt. Um, I am dead tired. I <laughs> just got back from uh, the day and uh, I'm cramming so much into my head with the learning at this place that uh, uh, I'm just wiped out. But anyway, QRP night. Okay, so tomorrow night is QRP night. Now, I'm going to get home from work and have something to eat, and then I'll have everything packed up, and I'm going to head down to the site. Now, the uh, local club sets up for field day at the Fort Wayne Reenactment Fort, which is kind of a cool place. It's a rebuilt replica of the original Fort Wayne, and that's where we'll be setting up for field day, and that's where we'll be doing QRP night. So uh, I will head down there, I'll probably arrive somewhere around 6 p.m. Um, Eastern, right? I think we're on Eastern Daylight Savings Time now, so uh, you'll have to figure out where that lines up with where you are. Um, actually, it'll be uh, somewhat close to 2200 uh, GMT. It'll be around 2200 GMT that I'll be uh, getting down there and starting up. Uh, now, I'm going to film um, the setup and I'll do a little mini review of Terry Ortiz's off center fed dipole that I did a video on a couple of months ago. Uh, that's what I'll be using at QRP night. Uh, but watch the Facebook page, okay? I'm going to post to the Facebook page when I get set up at QRP night and start operating. And I will be updating via the comments on that post with the current frequencies that we're operating on as we go, as close to real time as I can do it. And if I make contacts with uh, other QRP nighters out there, then I will also post that in the comments. So use your phone um, or whatever remote device you have and watch the Facebook page and watch for the QRP night post tomorrow night and follow the comments. And that's where I'll be uh, live updating what frequencies we're on, what modes um, with the guys that we have there as much as I can gather. And uh, if I'm making any contacts with other QRP nighters, I hope to uh, make a few contacts with a few of you guys out there. There's been a lot of interest, um, 28 
100 views of the QRP night video, I think, uh, or somewhere around there. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, that's it for this video, and uh, watch for uh, maybe this weekend or into next week. Um, I'm going to be posting a video on QRP night. Got something special going on there. The video of my setup at QRP night with the um, off-center fed dipole made by uh, Terry Ortiz. And I'm going to be doing a video on the local club's field day um, operations and setup that I'll be filming Saturday. So we're going to have those three videos at least coming out over next week. I'm going to try to do all the work this weekend so that I can post them through the week because I'm, I'm so wiped out that even just sitting here talking in front of the camera tonight is, is hard to do. I need to lay down. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll hear you on the air tomorrow night. 73. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.